Hi, this is Dr. Ben Benham. I'm a board certified dermatologist, and today I'm going to answer some questions about stem cells. Are stem cells safe? Yes, they are. Once these stem cells uh, come from the umbilical cord, the company that we use uh, tests them to many different things bacteria, fungus, HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. And when the cells come with the FedEx package, there is a pencil on the top uh, that shows all the tests that the company has done. And I'll always show this to my patients so they could see for themselves and always put this in the patient chart as well. So yes, yeah, so the stem cells come from human umbilical cord. They're all tested and purified before we inject them into the patient's scalp. What are the different type of PRP kits? So there are many different type of PRP kits. Uh, there are some PRP kits that you could buy on eBay for literally $25, $30. The PRP kit that we buy is literally over $300. Uh, we want to make sure that we buy the best PRP kit so that we get the best uh, concentrated growth factors for our patient. We truly believe that the device and equipments that we use, uh, which are all very expensive, basically translates into the best products that we inject into our patient's scalp. And that's what really gives our patients the best results. What are the restrictions uh, for patients prior to stem cell therapy? There's really not much restrictions. We do recommend patients not to take any uh, anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen, NSAIDs, Aleve, uh, naproxen or aspirin because this will interfere with what the stem cells uh, will do. Uh, and also we recommend patients to have a good breakfast that morning before they come in and also drink tons of water. What are some of the relative contraindications uh, for stem cells? So if a patient has cancer or have, has had cancer for the past five years, I would be very cautious. Patients below the age of 12, uh, patients who have a lot of food and drug allergies, and patients who are uh, have allergies to glycerol, which is a kind of like a preservative basically that is uh, mixed with some of the stem cells. What are some of the restrictions after the procedure? Uh, there's really not that much. Uh, we, typically, we typically tell the patients just to go home and relax and take it easy for that day. Some patients could have some flu-like symptoms uh, and this is actually normal. Uh, and we tell patients uh, to have some Claritin or Benadryl if that happens. We typically pre-treat patients with Claritin in the office, which means we give them a Claritin before we start the procedure in order to prevent the flu-like symptoms. But this is actually normal and there's no harm to this at, at all. Uh, a lot of patients ask me if they could shower afterwards. Yes, the answer is yes. There's no problem taking a shower because the stem cells are injected deep within the scalp. So they're not gonna come out if you take um, if you take a shower. We do recommend not to take any ibuprofen or aspirin or NSAIDs for three weeks after the stem cell therapy. So that's really the only restrictions. You could go exercise, you could do really whatever you want.